So hello guys, I'm Trilokesh Borwa from Starcomp and today we have a surprise gift from Gigabyte. As you can see, we have a Gigabyte case, cabinet, we don't know the name, we'll just get there in a moment. And we have the mouse pad here, Amp 300 from Aorus. This is the Aorus GTX 1060 and this is the, I guess the uh, version 2 maybe. Yeah, it's version 2, yeah, it's written here, it's version 2. And this is the newest H370 RS Gaming 3 Wi-Fi motherboard for the LGA 1151 uh, Intel generation or eighth generation of Core i uh, Core i5, i3, and i7 processors. This is the RS K7 keyboard. This is a mechanical keyboard, uh, Cherry MX Red. And this is this here is RS M3 mouse, Gigabyte. Power supply, oh my goodness, that's heavy, B700H, uh, we here have the Aorus H5 headphone, gaming headset, it's called, okay, this is a CPU cooler, which is really needed for long hours of gaming, because we need to cool our CPU as well, because, and this is a very big, hefty cooler, okay, so we keep that aside. And we begin unboxing each of these. So here we have the H370 Gaming 3 Wi-Fi motherboard from Aorus and we'll be doing the unboxing here. So we take a look. Okay, here we have the motherboard itself and yeah, it seems, this is a review unit, I guess this came with the processor itself and it's Intel i5 agent of, of course, obviously. And it seems really good. The feel is really awesome, I must say. So here we have one PCI X16 so and one X4. So there's no SLI or any crossfire. Even though there is crossfire ready, but still it won't be possible. And these are the four RAM DIMM sticks, uh, DIMM slots, sorry. And nothing else. Yeah, the, here we have the, I guess, type c port and this is the gigabit lan so the main focus of the h370 motherboard is the 370 chipset it comes with so with that it it has a gigabit lan connection ethernet connection so we'll be getting more faster internet access with less latency and the vrm headers are really good this is the vrm header for the m.2 slot amp up audio for greater audio in gaming there's another M.2, this is a smaller one. And that's it, and let, let's see what we got, get here. Uh, we put this aside. All right, we get this Wi-Fi cable. We have to connect, because since this is a gaming through Wi-Fi motherboard, this is a stand, this is a cover, and this is a SATA cable, that's all. And that's it, wrap it up. Okay, next we have the GeForce GTX 1060 RS Extreme Edition. This is a version 2. And this is a big, big card. From the box I can tell it's having three fans, maybe. And let's open it up. Okay, okay. Oh, why die? This is a really good box. I mean, yeah. holy shit. Let's see what we have here in this. Okay, we have some this and some manual and everything, the extended warranty and everything. Get this side. Hey, oh, goodness. It's really heavy, it's really heavy. Okay, we have to see. Oh my. This is an extreme gaming version of Aorus 1060. It's not the, I guess, uh, version 2. Whatever it is. Yeah. This has really good cooler, I must say. It's really heavy. So for long hours in gaming, uh, this will really help 
the temperatures to get down and even more they have uh, something called wind force technology here so it's written here so with that so what happens with that we get a uh, low noise level during idle temps okay so this is the last look of the gtx 1060 from morris extreme edition and we'll just wrap it up this one okay. So here we have the RS ETC 700 CPU cooler for AM3 Plus, AM4, the LGA 150, 1151, 1150 and I guess the X, Extreme series of Intel, mm, I guess they will have a bracket. So we'll, let's start unboxing this, uh, okay we open the seals, uh, this is the parts box, I guess. Let's see here. Yeah. This is all the parts. We have the thermal paste, the spanner, okay, with the sockets, okay, different sockets for different processors. Let's keep it aside. And here is that's heavy, that's heavy, okay. This is a CPU cooler. Oh my goodness. It's really big. It's got two 140 millimeter fans. And this is a copper, copper heat pipes. And this is an aluminum base, the copper aluminum fins. I guess this is an RGB. It will be an RGB. It's from ours. Of course, everything's RGB. Okay. Yeah. This will really help in keeping our temps down. So here we have the RS cooler and yeah, it's done. So let's keep it aside for now. Okay, here we have the Gigabyte B700H. Yes, as you can see. And this is an 80 plus bronze PSU power supply unit. It will be powering the whole system as well. And it has two pieces of 6 plus 2 pin PCI connectors and lots of peripherals and I see. And this is a modular, modular PSU. So it will be helpful in cable management, keeping it look clean. And let's open this. Okay, this is really fine. Oh, my oh it's a semi-modular. It's not fully modular, but still it's semi-modular. But it's Hey, the cables are really black, all black. Sleeved well. Okay, and we have to. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. The cables are really a mess. Gosh. Okay, this is all we need. This is a motherboard. This is for the motherboard, this is for the GPU, this is SATA, and yeah, this is CPU for the processor. Okay, processor, processor, I guess, where is it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's tight. Okay, yeah, it's here. It's here. This is a 8 pin. And this is a semi modular. We can uh, attach more PCI. E PCI cables or SATA or PETA, anything. I don't know why would anyone use a PETA at this moment. So we'll keep this aside for now. So we here we have the keyboard, mouse and the mouse pad here. These are the requirements of a gaming rig. We need this to get more kills, those precise aim, those precise kills, those headshots and everything. So we need those low latency mouse and keyboard. Let's open it this up, the keyboard first. Because it's, it's heavy. Oh, nice packaging I must say. 
come with uh, comes with this cool fabric thing you can wrap it up and this is the keyboard itself Anyways, this is a red switch as, as you guys can see, it's a red switch and we have more switches here as well, we can, yeah. the red switches are really silent switches, 2 millimeter, 2 millimeter of actuation force, silent switches and no, I guess, no tapping sounds, really awesome. It got, uh, it has a RGB I guess. Yeah, it has, it has, yeah, it's a RGB fusion, and yeah, that's it, we keep it this side. Next up, we have this, the RSM3 gaming mouse here it's really small I, uh, as I can see from this box so let's open it up and see how it scales along this map hand okay so here we have So yeah, this is a mouse, RSM3 mouse. It has grips similar to a palm grip and feels more like a razor death adder. The shape, feel and everything. It's really light. I must say this is really light. And these are the DPI plus and minus, so scroll, left click, right click, mouse button one and two. Yeah, it's really like and yeah this is the usb connector so we keep this aside for now and here we have the ours mouse pad we need a good mouse pad for those precise scene a good mouse also needs a good mouse pad so here we have the ours amp 300 this is a hybrid gaming mouse pad Let's see how big is this. It's really small, but still the texture really is good. It's really small, it's really. But still, it feels smooth and also it is really grainy. So the mouse will be really precise if you move from one direction to another. And yeah, that's it. Let me keep this aside for now. So here we are unboxing this Aorus H5 gaming headset and we need a new a good headset for hearing those footsteps as well as the shots coming from uh, nearby. So in competitive gaming or FPS gaming or any good gaming like uh, games like uh, Vain Glory, Witcher 3, Final Fantasy, Persona 5 or any of the games those require which has good soundtracks and we need to hear those and we need a really good headset so this comes with a microphone as well so let's open this up all right okay this is a headphone and this comes with oh my goodness the virus too you know so this is a headphone and this is really light I must say and this is a phones here as you can see and we are, here we have the controls the mic mute off on off and here is this connectors this is for the RGB and this is for the 3.5 mic and this is for the uh, headphone and here we have the okay, I didn't attach the microphone here. So let's put this up. I 
as you can guys see this is really comfortable it's really light and it has a 50 millimeter uh, driver so it will be delivering a good amount of noise as for the sound stage i can say or anything but it should deliver good sound in gaming as well uh, okay let's skip this side for now and last but not the least this is the okay apologies last but not the least we have this cabinet okay so this is the cabinet as you can see it's not temper glass but still there is a one okay this is a 280 millimeter rad functionality we can put in there this is a 360 here we can put in front there's a vertical gpu mount function available here as well as this is fitted in the motherboard cover i don't know why so there's a psu shroud with the aorus logo here nice well there's a aorus logo here as well as you can see here and the front is really textured gives a really good nice and feel to it and up on the, with the connectors we get Okay, this is a power button, the HDMI pass through from the, I must say the graphics card we get and this is a type C and this is a reset switch, 3.5mm jack for headphone and microphone, USB 3.1 gen 1 and this is a type C gen 1 too. So what this means guys that we can use a HTC Vive Oculus Rift or anything with this easily thank you guys for watching our unboxing videos and hope you guys like it and if you do then please follow our page starcom and make sure you get notified when we upload new video videos as well as we go live streaming uh, we do live streaming of games as well so you guys can be the judge